Hello and welcome to the future of TV. Here I cover turning your Amazon Fire TV stick into a total media center. This video is part two of a three-part series that covers modifying the Fire Stick settings so that you can install third-party software which enables you to utilize other applications not currently found in the App Store. It's also known as jailbreaking. Not only will I show you how to play movies, TV shows, and sports, but also pay-per-view, all for free. Following this video is part three of the series, which covers maximizing the Fire Stick's capabilities using accessories such as Ethernet and flash drive adapters. With that said, try to follow along. If at any point I get ahead, pause the video and catch up. Let's begin. First, we're gonna use the remote, scroll over to settings. To the right, to preferences, privacy settings, data usage, we're going to turn that off. Collect app usage data, turn that off. Internet based ads, I typically turn this off. Data monitoring, this should be already off. Back, back, let's go over to my Fire TV, developer options. This is what's going to let us install those third party applications. ADB bugging, we're going to turn that on. Apps from unknown sources, we're going to turn that on. From here, we can go to the home button. And we are going to look for an app called Downloader. So you can, from the search, Type it in or hold in the microphone on your remote and just say downloader. We can see it's in the settings or one of the options. And there we go. We're going to install it. If by chance you have any problems here getting this application, you have to log on to Amazon and fix your account. but it should be able to download and install. We're gonna click on allow, click on okay. And from here, we are gonna to go to the following website. Download shouldn't take that long. From the screen, we can click on install. And from this screen, we will not want to open it. Let's click on done. When you install third party software, it leaves an installer in the background. We don't really need that on the Fire Stick. Here's the APK, the installer. We're going to go ahead and select delete. All right, we have one more app, so press up. Just delete the word cinema. We're gonna type in the word mob drill. And go. Same thing, select to the right, install. and done. Again, we're going to delete this APK as well. From here, we'll go ahead and hit the home button. We're going to select down to your apps and channels all the way to the right. Anytime you install something new, you're going to click see all and scroll all the way to the bottom. You should see both apps, Mobdrill and Cinema. So on your remote, you have a hamburger button, also known as the menu button. We're gonna select that. On the right, you should see move to front. All right, it goes all the way to the top. Scroll back down. Same thing with cinema. Hamburger button, move to front. All right, from here, we can hit the home button and we'll go ahead and test out both of these applications. We'll start with Mob Drill. We're gonna agree allow 
And at this point, if you ever see an update of any kind, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and install it automatically. They push out a lot of updates. MobDraw is very cool because it gives you access to all kinds of channels, news, TV shows that stream 24 seven, the same with movies, sports, music, gaming, and a bunch of other stuff. Let's go ahead and test out one of the channels. Start using this app. We're gonna go ahead and select the default option. All right, so as you scroll through these channels, it has plenty to choose from. You can also click show all streamings to the right and you can go down for quite a while, but you're gonna see everything in here from Disney to HGTV. We'll go ahead and test the learning channel. Typically, if you have slower internet, you're gonna hear audio first, and then the video is gonna catch up. But if you have fast internet like I do, it's gonna play fine right off the bat. I'm gonna hit back, back one more time, Let's go test one of the sports out. You have Sky Sports, all kinds of sports in here. Um, we'll just try ESPN. Jones had a defender going up Got some right college football going on, American football. All right, from here, let's hit the back button once and we'll hit the home button. Let's go ahead and test out cinema. The first time you start it, you'll have to click allow. Click accept. And scroll down and click OK. In the top left corner, you're going to see a hamburger button, also known as a menu button. You can select back and forth from TV shows and movies. If you select over to the right once, you can select categories. Popular, adventure, fantasy, animation. All right. And all you really have to do is select a movie. This one's still in the theater. We'll see if by chance it came out with something yet. You know, scroll down, you can watch a trailer, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can play the, the movie. Select the quality, select the movie. If by chance you, the channel that you select starts freezing up or you have some buffering problems, just hit the back button, select a different channel, and you're gonna be okay. This literally came out yesterday or the day before and uh, what? when I'm making this video and you can see that we're already good to go. We're gonna hit the back button out of this, hit the home button, and we are good to go for movies, TV shows, live TV, sports. If by chance you ever wanna see something in pay-per-view, is a really good channel for that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the sports and you're just gonna look for a channel that offers it. If you don't know what channel offers it, by Googling it, um, what you can do is you can just try some of these channels. TSN, they usually have some. BT Sports usually has some. Box, Box Nation, UFC channel, NFL channel. Just try a few different channels and more than likely you're going to find what you need. With that said, this covers part two. If you have any problems with these apps, just select the home button. Select the settings applications, manage installed applications. And from here, you can open up one of your apps. You can force stop it. You can uninstall it. You can reinstall it. And that'll typically fix anything that's on the fire stick. So just keep that in mind. If by chance you have any questions, comment below. Be sure to subscribe for future updates and feel free to watch part three of the series. Have a good day.